I always get excited for Hot Mixology and tonight is no exception. Although it's cold out here, we're doing spring break cocktails Hot Mixology style. Joining us at the bar is Chuck Giametti. He brought in a product called Agua Coca Leaf Liqueur, as well as the other products we're using today and the great cocktails. We're in Denver, Colorado at a place called The Squeaky Bean, known for their great cocktails. I'm Dave, it's spring break Hot Mixology style and the bar is open. Let's go. Now, uh, meeting everybody at the bar real quick. John, come on down with me. Like I said, we have Chuck Giametti with Agua. Chuck, thanks for being here for Spring Dave, Break. Dave, thanks for having us here to show people the virtues of the coca leaf. We'll energize them with the coca, baby. It is. I like your style, Chuck. Joy at the bar right here. And of course, we have Johnny, the owner of the Squeaky Bean right here. Dave, thanks for being here. Now, Chuck, you have Agua uh, Liqueur. Talk to me about it real quick. Agua Coca Leaf Liqueur is really not a new idea. It's an old idea reborn that used to be around in the 1700s and the 1800s. And what it does, it celebrates the fact of the virtues of the coca leaf. Like the high mountain people down in South America, they'll chew a coca leaf when they go into high country to deliver more oxygen to the organs and throughout the blood system. Well, we decided to put it in a bottle and deliver a little more oxygen to you here at the bar. <laughs> Let's try it out. I need oxygen. That's great. We're going to be mixing it up in some cocktails here. I've found it's very mixable. Yep, it's the most versatile, versatile of all herbal liqueurs. And if you look at the bottle close, it says Coca Herbal Liquor. That was to get it past the government standards of the United States. But right below it, it says made from the finest of coca leaves. The rest of places in the world, it'll say Coca Leaf Liquor. All right? So, you know. Let's try this out. Yeah, it's Bases Neutral Grain Sounds Spirits, good. Coca Leaf, Garana. Cocktails are great, but I think it's time for the bean team to get behind the bar and show Do I get the bean team back here? You guys ready to make up some spring break cocktails? Yeah. Let's see what the bean team can do. It's Dave on Hot Mixology with the bean team, with Chuck, with Agua, with all the products here. Thank you, Johnny. Hey, thanks for having me, brother. We're going to be right back on Hot Mixology with the bean team. Hi, I'm Dan Aykroyd with the Crystal Head Vodka Project on Hot Mixology. We remind you to respect the drink. Please don't drink and drive. Don't lose your head. Okay, okay, enough, enough, enough. Back on Hot Mixology with apparently the bean team from right here at the Squeaky Bean. Dan, what, are you on the bean team? You know it, I'm the captain of the bean team. Well, can it be time? Let's mix up some. What are we mixing up? Uh, here we have a little bit of the Agua, the Coco Herbal Liqueur. I really like this product just because it has a great uh, herbaceous flavor to it there. Now, Mixes. you're not just saying that because Chuck's here, right? Well, Chuck is a dear friend of mine, so. Yeah, it's my beanie boy. There you go. <laughs> great color, great liqueur, and like a natural herb herbaceousness. You see that beautiful green color going to the cocktail here. Chuck, hey, you got something to add to that? Yeah, you know, this is going to bring out the nice lavender and African mint flavors that come out of it. You guys are in cahoots. All right, go be Here we're gonna, we're gonna try to uh, kind of class up uh, spring break here a little bit. Add a little slim gin here, and this gin has uh, about 25% less calories than the normal gin out there. And this gives nice botanicals to the cocktail. That's why you're looking so svelte, huh? Yeah, well, I try. Okay. It's all the pork product we serve here at the uh, Speaking Bean. Yeah, absolutely. Bean. Check out that slim spirit. So those are good with the gin. And here we have the Dikuper, uh, the Kuiper uh, peach tree. Uh, just give a little bit of sweetness, just a touch of this stuff. Uh, just give a little bit of a rich, sweet flavor to the cocktail. And... All right, all right, all right. Dash of agave nectar, and agave nectar is just a little bit better than the average uh, white refined sugar. And it makes a nice uh, sweetness to a cocktail. Give it a good shake. You really want to wake up the drink? All right, BT, BT, BT. Wake it up, wake it up. That's we're, what we're talking about. We're going to wake up the other one here, too. Yeah, BT, 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 BT. Oh, he is good. Check out the squeaky bean for uh, Dan. You're down here every night mixing up cocktails like this? Yeah, pretty much every night. Here we have the Mile High Martini. Oh, Mile High Martini. Oh, see, it's for high altitude. There you go, <laughs> Chuck. Even, have, even has snow on the peak, look. Uh, <laughs> no. Very nice, Dan. You are the captain of the bean team. We're going to be right back with Aaron mixing up cocktails, see if he can compete with the bean team here. Try this out with me, Dan. All right. Cheers. Spirits are pretty high here today. We'll see if Aaron can compete. Bean team, bean team, bean We'll be right back on Omnixology. We got Chuck here with the uh, agua. You're going to mix up something with agua? I am going to use the agua. And, uh, you know, I just I couldn't help myself because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of fennel in there. Again, that fresh kind of licorice anise flavor right. in there that's going to come out. 
We're going to top that with the agua, so you have the herbs So we use the again. triple sec de Kuiper, we use the, that, and then the agua. And then the agua, and uh, I don't have any coca leaves, so we're going to use a little rosemary until we get some of those we'll coming. we to talk to the government. And uh, so Chuck, you get on that. Bean team, get on that. So we'll give these a quick shake. That'll help the, uh, the fennel start releasing some of its flavors in there. Then we're going to top with a little bit of soda, a little bit of agave nectar in there as well for you. That in there, and then uh, love the soda gum. That is a great soda wow. gum, Johnny. What where, is that? Just part of the uh, atmosphere here, or what? We call it Rocky Mountain Sparkling Water. We guess our own Colorado water. That's for the grown-up spring breaker. That's delicious, refreshing, light, out on a hot beach or something. Come in and have one wow. of those. Right? This is amazing, guys. I can't wait for you to try this. All the recipes are on yeah, hotmixology.com. Yeah. Chuck, while we're talking, thank you for coming down. Thank you. Love the agua. Check out agua on hotmixology.com. Watch Hot Mixology and watch every week. Let's get some Frank Ollie in there. Bring that for a second. Big team, big team, big team.